both of these use case is specifically for your valuable returning visitors. Uh, and uh, talking about the first use case, uh, uh, some of you might be a content publisher, and you and your team working very uh, you and your team work very hard to produce fresh content, and 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 that content mean to grab attention, right? So, uh, and uh, so one of the best way uh, to get attention of your new content. Is to target to your returning users because those are the users who has uh, previously visited your site and they are they really show interest in the articles on your website. So uh, so let's say uh, a user has not visited your website since last seven days, and uh, and so uh, in this case, if user visits your website today, then let's show them a fresh brewed content uh, published on your website since their last visit. This this will get attention to your gen users who uh, uh, this will get uh, attention of your new content uh, to the from your genuine users who visit your site. So let me show you how uh, this particular use case looks like. So uh, we we have uh, implemented this uh, on our website. Say for uh, I haven't visited this website for last seven days and. Uh, uh, these are the blogs which are published in last seven days. These are the three blogs which is published in last seven days. So whenever uh, a user lands on the web page, uh, on the home page, uh, and uh, he gets a ready-made field available on the home page itself on the very first half of the page. So whenever uh, so so that user can click over here on the blog and can directly start reading. So this is how uh, you can implement. Uh, uh, Personalization for your returning user, and you can promote your new content on your website. So uh, uh, let's jump to our uh, second use case, uh, which talks about uh, returning users uh, who are returning visitors. Uh, so this particular uh, use case is more related to users who read articles on the go. Uh, let's say uh, Many of you might be reading articles while commuting to the office and uh, link to uh, 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 while on the go. So it might happen that somewhere in between of the article, uh, you have to leave it incomplete. And uh, and whenever you get free, you try to find out that article again and uh, and and you complete the reading. So in that case, uh, it sometimes it. It becomes difficult for you to find that article again and get back to that article to complete the reading. So, uh, uh, what we have done is uh, we are making it easier for the users who want to complete that uh, reading of that article. So, uh, and again, this this particular use case we have implemented on our blogs page of Pathway Domain. You can check that out on your own as well. So, say for this is the home page and uh, uh, here. I, I have read this particular article, but I left it in the midway. The powerhouse of personalization. So whenever if I click on start from uh, where you left, here is a button uh, which called start from where you left. Whenever I click on that, I will directly land on the page section where I have left previously. So yes, this was the section where I left uh, this article previously, and I can continue uh, from over here and complete my reading. So this is how you can implement uh, the uh, this particular use case for your website, uh, and this the both this both the use case uh, are implemented on our live site, and uh, you can check for that. Uh, I would also like to show that uh, for the articles which uh, I haven't read, uh, uh, that don't show this kind of button. So. This this is only for the articles which a uh, user has uh, previously uh, went through. So this is a kind of blog which I have read previously, and whenever user clicks, it directly lands on that particular uh, location from where uh, that uh, user has left. We have implemented this on our uh, site. You can check it uh, live on our website. 